Okay, so now on to part two of the tutorial, focusing on importing characters into UE4 from Unreal Games, uh, specifically Smite. And today we'll be focusing on materials. Um, and as before, we had imported Cuckoo in, we got his model, a few of his animations in, but he still has this uh, boring white texture, and what we want to do is go about fixing that. Um, so first things first, we want to import the textures that Smite uses to basically make up these materials. Um, so back to our desktop, our new model folder, new model export, and what we want to go for is God under slash cool cool can under slash textures, uh, texture 2D, and we want all of those, so just the lot. Um, okay, so. Um, what we have is the uh, Kuku Can difference, which is just the base color of the skin. That's probably the most important. Um, the mask, which is, uh, well, it has multiple uses, but most commonly it's used to define which bits glow and which are transparent. Um, then there's the normal, which simulates uh, like the bumps on the character's surface and how light reacts with it. And uh, finally, the specular, which denotes which bits are shiny, basically. Um, and you'll have to forgive my laptop; it's a slightly warm day, so it's gonna it's gonna make some noise um, as the fan tries to compensate. Um, okay, so what we want to do with these is we want to drag all of them into this material here, which is the default material that was imported in. Um, just from coming from uh, the FBX that we exported out of UDK. Um, so double click on that and right so it should open up a second window and we want to drag oh, that was control not shift we want to drag all four of those into it. Um, now if you look closely you'll see um, these are all these little nodes that we need to attach the different textures to to make up the material because the material is not just one picture as such it's a combination of materials working together to to make um, a surface basically okay so we want to delete this to start off with because we don't need it it's just a little default um, okay so um, so this is our normal you can always tell because it's kind of blue and it says normal here um, and quite simply it needs to be connected to normal right there uh, you can move that move these about any way you like it doesn't matter really where they're located it's just to help make sense for you um, and this is difference DIF and it goes to base color um, this is a specular uh, it kind of depends on on the character really but sometimes you can just get away with connecting it to specular other times you might want to hook it up to metallic or roughness um, but for now we'll just leave it at that um, and then those are all simple enough and to be honest if we hit apply here um, oh, laptop really doesn't like that um, if we hit apply here you can see um, it should compile in game in a second, there it is there, shaders compiling. It's taking its sweet time. Okay, so as you can see, that looks decent enough. It looks a lot more like Cuckoo. Um, it's not really not really accurate to the in-game yet, but if you wanted to, you could get away with that. Um, but we're gonna go slightly above and beyond that and make it a little bit better um, using the mask. And as I said earlier, it it's used for a lot of things for uh, sometimes masking out bits that are meant to be transparent um, but most commonly in smite it seems to be used to make things glow um, and that's where the emissive color comes in so um, you'll notice that this is um, all these different colors um, to denote different parts of the mask um, so we're interested in the green here as you can see because that's where um, Cuckoo's glow would normally be. Um, so we hold M and click anywhere 
and that creates a multiply which allows us to sort of branch things out um, and what we want to do is grab the green connected to the A or the B doesn't really matter um, and then connect that to the emissive and the reason I made it multiply is because I need to actually increase the strength of it um, so hold S and click anywhere oops uh, and you've now made a parameter which is basically just like a number value that you can connect to different nodes uh, and we drag that to B um, and we kind of want it to be glow quite strongly because cuckoos sort of red tattoos indents whatever you want to call them do glow quite brightly so let's say six for the value um, and apply and we'll look and see uh, what the difference is in game um, it's taking its sweet time just Jorm there just watching us um, okay so as you can see he's he's actually glowing at the bits where he should be but it's bright white and uh, not actually red as it should be so uh, back to your material uh, what we want to do now is basically add another multiply to sort of branch out um, so hold M click uh, so instead of going to the emissive this will just go straight into that we'll just uh, right click on that break link um, and what we want to do is hold V and click oops and that will make a little uh, parameter here for us um, which we can use to change the color so if we just go and click red uh, maybe that's not deep enough red but we'll see um, and then connect it to the B by this little white note here and then connect that to the emissive now if we hit apply you should see oh it's compiling again uh, any time today yeah so there we go that's much better that actually kind of looks like cuckoo it's got this sort of red highlights um, that we need and if we want to hit play we can go have a little look and as you can see everything looks as it should and uh, that's about it for the tutorial um, I did release a remake of the Smite beta map recently so you can download that and perhaps get started on some of your own projects if you wish and if people you know want more tutorials then you know that's something I can easily do uh, for example using sequencer to you know make little animations or you know camera stuff or even more material stuff because um, there's a few more things I guess I could teach um, and yeah well until then uh, just any questions you have just ask in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you um, and other than that I guess thanks for watching and uh, see you next time